friends on behalf of school of agriculture i welcome all of you and today we will be discussing about the canning aspects as we know that india is the second largest product producer of the fruits and this the single largest producer of the vegetable in the world the recent economic survey has indicated that we are producing around 47.5 million tons and about 10% of the global production of fruits is there and we are the second largest producer in the vegetable we are the the largest producer with the 90 million tons of the vegetables and it is ranked first highest producer is there but we know around 25 to 30% of the fruits are wasted because of the inadequate processing facilities available into the country or the fruit and vegetables are not properly processed the canning is one of the important aspect of the it is known as the heart of the food process fruit and vegetable preservation so we have today with us dr khurdia who will give us more details about the that what is the canning process and it is there so i will request dr khurdia to give some this if that what is the canning and then we'll keep on informing telling you about the other details also dr khurdia please thank you dr saluja a com canning is a commercial process to preserve fruit and vegetables in a canned form which can be kept if a proper conditions are obtained during processing can be kept up to 3 years as you know those who are going in the mountains on himalaya and elsewhere they are taking the canned foods and keep it at low temperature for a quite long and in the frozen state that remain for longer durations the canning is a process under which a fruit and vegetable are being placed in a can and then sealed with certain liquid material fruit and vegetable prepared fruit and vegetables and they are heat process so it is a heat application which is responsible for processing of the canned products there is a good history of the canning processes and you will find that certain data that men and women they learn to use fire about uh, 10000 bc and drying and smoking used at least before 5000 bc and there is a uh, a modern uh, father of the modern food science that is nicolas nicolas apart in 1800 century when the french were fighting this all development has taken place under the war conditions because they need to preserve the food especially for the forces in the behind their city limits behind the country limits so nicolas apart a confectioner who developed a process what he did he took the food material animal food or vegetable food place in a glass container and put a cork and allow it to boil in the boiling water and all the gases escape then he placed the cork inside then seal it sealed properly and kept it for longer durations so the french government gave him a award also about the 12000 franc and that's why he considered as a uh, father of the modern food science and the process is known as a apart what the modern canning we call the usually generally apart apart or apartizations and he has published a book entitled the art of preserving uh animal and vegetable substances for many years which is the first known work on modern canning so this is a little bit about the history of the canning process also i can dwell further also about this canning process and you will find the uh, canning process and the principle the principle is here to destroy the fruit and vegetables as you know there is a a good history also again why this uh, canning can preserve the fruit and vegetable for longer time sometimes back the somebody scientists say that there is oxygen there that is also uh, causing this spoilage but louis poisson in 1860 find out that certain microbes either bacteria or fungi yeast or their spores they remain in the food material and spoil them also so this was the basis and 
if the pasteurization method was came and that is the application of heat. So, that same process is applied in the canning of the fruit and vegetables also they are heated uh, depending upon the type of the fruit and vegetables. Fruits they can be done about 200 degree centigrade in a boiling water bath and they can kill all the microbes. So, the basic principle is to destruction of the spoilage organism within the sealed container by means of heat and to improve the texture and flavor app, uh, appearance by cooking and third is to have the recontamination of the food during storage. So, you will find a good cane can keep the fruit and vegetables product for longer durations. If there is any leakage or spoilage or dent and everything you will find then you can consider that food is not properly packed or properly processed. So, this is the principle under which you the fruit and vegetable are properly maintained processed and then kept for longer duration also. So, these are the little history and the canning process and the principle involved in the canning also. Thank you Dr. Khrudia. Now, before going to the complete canning process, I think we should we should also know that the what are the major causes of the food deterioration. The major the primary cause for food deterioration is presence of microorganisms like bacteria, yeast and mold. The other thing is activities of the natural food enzymes which are present then the some insects, then temperature both heat and cold also affect the food deterioration, moisture and dryness, presence of air, light and time. So, these are the factors which are the causes, major causes of the food deterioration are there. Now, what is the food preservation? It must eliminate or minimize all these factors which are responsible for the food deterioration are there. Now, what are the different methods? Physical methods includes by process of heat, the canning is one of the physical method. Canning is one of the method by heat treatment by which we give the heat treatment and do it. In the physical met method, there are two methods, heat method by either we remove the heat that is cold method by refrigeration, freezing, then addition of heat like thermal processing, pasteurization, sterilization, canning, HTST, these are the methods are there by removal of water, by drying process, by irrigation. So, these are the physical methods where we by cold preservation, by heat treatment, thermal processing, drying. So, canning is one of the physical method by where we apply the heat to kill the microorganisms to inactivate the enzymes present to this. The other method of preservations are like chemical method by addition of acid, by addition of salt, by addition of sugar and the chemical preservatives are also there. Then the fermentation is also one method of preservation where we preserve the I would say the microorganisms are not able to grow and the enzymes are inactivated is there. So, canning is a is a process in which we apply the heat and kill the micro, microorganisms and inactivate the enzymes. Now, I will request Dr. Khudia to give more details that what is the canning process. The canning process we have a process is a simple the convert the fresh food and vegetable into the processed canned products is a complete process and this complete process has several unit operations involved just like selection of the fruit and vegetables, what type of fruit and vegetables should be selected, they should be properly matured, ripened, but firm enough. If they are soft, then will be crushed and will not give the proper texture. Then sorting and grading which are spoiled one, bruised one should be removed from this one also and properly graded means the size grading and the color grading and the uh, segment or slices. This grading should be done in order to have uniformity of the process products. Washing is very important because any dirt and dust or any pasteur residue there, then they are washed with the water containing 0.5 percent hydrochloric acid. Then after washing thoroughly they are peeled because the peel are all not edible portion of the fruit and vegetables, so they must be peeled either by hand or by machine or by other process also. Then they are prepared into the 
cutting in slices, cubes, halves, quarters, cheeks, just a mango, two cheeks you can do it also. Blanching, giving a heat treatment, then filling, syruping and brining, leading and clinching, exhausting, seaming, processing and cooling, testing for defects and storage, labeling and marketing. These are the unit operations are there and I can tell them these are one by one little bit more details also this process. As you know the this process uh, use the cane. What is the cane actually? The cane is a tin containers. There is a steel plate which has made into cane and it has been lacquered or coated by a both the side with the tin metals. So, that is called a tin container. Under this tin container they are packed and uh, sometimes the food and vegetables are got discolored. So, they have a properly lacquered one in order to protect this one. And there is a two type of lacquers, acid resistant lacquers or sulfur resistant lacquers are there. And these after opening these canes, they can we can uh, process them also. So, you will find these uh, process of the little, how the first take the fruits, how the fruits. Generally fruits are cane in a sugar syrup solution or some water just like apple you can put in a water or 10 percent sugar solution and mango slices, guava pieces, apricots, peaches, halves or whole, grapes, papaya, pineapple slices, tidbits, fruit cocktail, fruit mixture all can be cane uh, with the uh, sugar syrup. Then are certain vegetables are also there they can be cane in the salt or rice solution that is asparagus beans, cabbage, carrot, mushroom, peas, potato, tomato, turnip, sarsunka saag or curried vegetables they can be uh, paint. There are certain other products are also there just like a vegetable juices and beverages they are also packed in canes. Sometimes you will find market days Pepsi, Coca-Cola other beverages also there. The aluminum canes are also being utilized for this purpose. So, as you see the selection first important is a selection of the food and vegetables. The fruit should be firm, ripe, uniformly mature, vegetables should be tender, so they can have less fiber content. Then they are sorted graters, sorted based on the maturity, ripeness, spoiled, blemish, injured, they are all removed and they are graded based on the size, color, slices, cube, whole. So, give the uniformity. So, during processing they said get they should get a uniform heat process. So, all the microbes available there, they are present there, they will be kill and destroy also these things. Then fruits are washed in a water, sometimes the microbes are more than they can chlorine can be added up to 150 ppm or potassium permanganate solution can be used to disinfect them to remove the soil and dust. Say if you wash thoroughly you will find most of the microbes loads are they reduced to the hops and then by kill by the use of the chlorine or potassium permanganate. Then they are peeled either by hand or by stencil knife, lye solution, alkali solution or machines. Then they are cut into the desired shape and size that is slices, dice, finger either by machine or by knife by hand they can be done. Then they are blonde, especially the vegetables are blonde in a boiling water or steam and then put in a cold water. So, this blanching gives certain advantage just to remove the gas and air. So, the gas and air are removed from the cane, the enzymes which are inactivated or uh, destroyed otherwise the enzyme will cause enzymic reaction, chemical reaction, browning and they spoil the quality of the product, the appearance also. They reduce the microbial load and reduce volume by shrinkage so proper filling is there and the consumer will get the uh, um, proper amount for which he is going to, uh, to is being paid uh, for the products. Then they are fruit and vegetables which are prepared are placed in a open top canes either by hand or machines and then it is a fruits are there then the sugar syrup is used 20 to 50 percent sugar for fruits and in case of the vegetable the sodium chloride solution salt solution 1 to 3 percent is being used. Then the lid is kept on the canes and it cleans one seeming operations and then exhausting them. Exhausting means to remove the air or gaseous, the respiratory gaseous which are enclosed or entrapped in the fruit and vegetables are being reduced. If this is not reduced then the pressure develop vacuum, there will not be proper vacuum and there will be leakage and there will pressure also during the processing. Then the canes are sealed 
and uh, they are after double seaming machines and this they are commercially processed. They are processed in a boiling water, especially the fruits and the vegetables are under the pressure giving a 110 degree, 115 degree centigrade. Otherwise, fruits are generally processed at uh, 100 degree centigrade in boiling water. After this giving a particular time say 30 minutes, 40 minutes depend on the cane size and material, then they are taken from this processing and cool in a cold water by spraying or dipping in the cold water and up to a temperature of 30 degree centigrade. So, any water remain on this cane they are removed. So, this is a process uh, which make this cane fruit and vegetables also. Dr. Kuridia, I think we need to tell them what is the importance of blanching in the process and what is the temperature time combination normally used for the like apple or any common vegetable. Can you tell us please? The generally temperature of the during this exhausting is kept 75 degree centigrade for the fruits and for vegetables about 78 degree centigrade. By keeping this temperature in the center of the cane, so all the air or gases which have been developed during respiratory gases they are all removed. So, this is the exhausting being done and the blanching has the added advantage to remove these, these things inactivity enzyme, kill the microunits and reduce the shrinkage, the shrinkage. So, the proper amount can be filled into the canes. So, these are the advantages of the blanching and exhausting also there. Dr. Kudia, can you tell us that what are the, some of the seeming problems which could be observed? After the cane is a properly processed and cool and brought to the room temperature, then it is a certain, it is a tested for defects, whether there is a leakage or there or any spill or material lying on the near the seams. So, the canes are uh, taped by a steel rod and we give a metallic sound that means the cane has been properly processed and proper vacuum has been created inside. If it is a not metallic sound then it is understood that either the uh, material is too much or too less and proper vacuum has not been created and thus canes are although by sound basis they can be. Uh, rejected and which are good one they can be taken for uh, marketing. And in case of the marketing is concerned they have be properly labeled packaging done and storage done. So, then marketing aspect can be taken about so these things. Dr. Kodia, what is the importance of cooling? If we do not cool the product immediately then what will happen? Uh, this is a very good question actually because when the processing the temperature of the content goes to uh, about 100 degree centigrade in uh, 90 to 100 degree centigrade in case of fruit and higher temperature in case of the vegetables. If they are not properly cooled to the room temperature say about 37 degree centigrade, then the when they are staking in the store or warehouses, the heat remain there and for a longer duration. This heat will uh, spoil the nutrition, spoil the quality and mess them also and the product become unfit for consumption also. So, the cooling is very, very important after the processing of the products. Uh, Dr. Kodia, can you tell us more about what is the commercial sterilization and canning difference between the commercial sterilization and canning? The commercial sterilization means it there is sterilization different terminologies use sterilization. So, in case of the medical completely the uh, exclusions of the microbes. But if we, can't, we go for that one in a uh, fruit and vegetables, we will find the fruit and vegetables will be messed and will be completely degraded and will not be used. So, we generally uh, commercial sterilization do sterility to in order not to allow any microbes to develop. Those who are pathogenic microbes, they are, are killed, are inactivated. So, they will not be growing, they are not reproducing and that sterilization is called commercial sterilization in case of the caning of the fruit and vegetables. Can you tell us something more about uh, labeling and packaging of the food and uh, this type of products? Yes, Dr. Solaja, this is a very important aspect and under the mandatory also under the food product order and PFA, Prevention of Food Alteration Act, that is properly labeled. The name of the product, the name of the manufacturer, what are the content, what are the ingredients. Suppose a canned apple is there, then you have to watch the largest amount of the ingredients that say water or sugar solution sugar, then fruit, then citric acid or any chemical has been used should be added there also. 
so that ingredient is must be known to the consumer what he is going to purchase was going to eat otherwise it can be cheated so the labeling is more important and what are the data of manufacturing and how much uh, time it can retain in a good or best conditions that also be maintained this is a mandatory for the manufacturer to maintain on the labeling also and to the proper packaging suppose a cane which a dented or is a swelled then the consumer should not open that one also there may be some gases hydrogen gases or other chemical uh, reaction takes place and gases become on blackening other things also so when they are the cane is normal there is a cone cave if the convex there is a flat surface convex surface are there they should not be open they should not be uh, used only the flat can or which gives some vacuum or concave surface on the lid that type of the good canes which can be consumed for also these things what are the common defects uh, khudia in the this like what you mentioned that if the bulge cans are there we should not take what are the other uh, defects which could a consumer could see uh, you can find say bulging of the canes because hard bells or soft bells and sometimes find a food material lying on the some leakage are there on near the seams such products should not be consumed which are the good there is no leakage there is no bulging that cane can be used for the consumption also so that one should take precaution sometimes you will find the manufacturers also written they are in the bulge cane you should not open or leakage should not be open because during the transportation during marketing they may be heat or they may be fallen down and got denting and other things or sometimes the proper labeling is not there or the proper gum is not there they can get the junk rusting and the rusting will make a pin holes when pin holes are there such canes should be should not be used for consumption also so they should be taken consumer should be careful for taking the product from the shelf itself also what is the shelf life of normally uh, this canned products if a properly processed canned products intact one canes in a flat or a proper vacuum they can be kept for 2 to 3 years also and have a good taste good color and flavor of the processed product also what are the some of the advances which are taking place still uh, some uh, i mean the canning process is important or some advancements are taking place in the the heat application is a main heating process previously people were knowing by giving a high temperature and short time they can process but they were not having the equipment but now the latest technology recent development has taken place that is called aseptic processing and packaging under this process a high temperature ultra high temperature can be given to the processing but for a very very short duration that is 3 to 5 seconds so temperature can go up to 140 degree centigrade for few seconds only so high temperature all the microbes are killed but the nutrition remain intact that is the beauty this advantage of the high temperature and short time duration so the another latest development has taken place as for the processing and packaging now you find the brick and the fruity and others and uh, paper aluminum foils they are coming this product juices and other things also so they are aseptically processed and packed here you cannot see product but you will find the good flavor and there is no chemical preservatives required to preserve them also because it is the heat the temperature which has processed them had preserved this food materials and that can be kept for the good at shelf life and have the better uh, retention of the nutrients otherwise while you find that in the caning also there is a certain losses occur generally heavy losses are occurring on the vitamin c more than 30 percent more water used for the losses in steam launching and the thiamine vitamin a losses they are in the range of 10 to 30 percent but there is no loss of the protein or carbohydrate that is there so they can be kept for two to three years if the properly processed cane fruit and vegetable products dr khudia can you tell us something uh, more about uh, the importance of syrup and brining for the fruits and vegetables in the canning process the syrups generally the made from the cane sugar which is dissolved in water and heated by heating and then filter it also so all the dirt and dust are removed then the different strength of the sugar is given for the acidic fruit you can go to 40 or 60 percent sugar in a sugar syrup but for the uh, just like apple you can go 10 percent sugar solution or in the water can you can also preserve it also 
but for vegetables which are used for culinary purposes we generally use the salt there is a common salt salt solution are used 1 to 3 percent depending upon the type of vegetables also in case of the peas sometimes we add sugar also just to give a better retention of the color better taste better flavor so a combinations then can be made nowadays some if you want to improve further its uh, flavor certain mint coriander other herbs can be used especially in the tomato ketchup or tomato concentrate or other vegetables can be used so they give a typical taste or in the case of the uh, juices or beverages rts beverage reducer beverages you can have the a flavor of the tinge of the mint coriander uh, ginger like that also they can have further improvement in the flavor and other things also dr kudia can you tell us something more about the exhausting process the exhausting process is also important because when you seal it there should not be any pressure of any product or gases the food and vegetable you prepared it and keep it for some time the leg period or during the respiration in proper after the launching there is a gaseous or air remain in the, inside the uh, fruit and vegetable tissues so by exhausting we are allowing it to a central temperature center of the cane the temperature to increase 74 to 78 degree centigrade or 80 degree centigrade so at this high temperature all the air are expelled by heating so there is a if the extra material is there also fell down and remain the material which has been expanded so when we seal and process commercially sterilize it or sterilization there is not the undue pressure on the seam otherwise if the gases are there they will also exert their own pressure along with the expansion of the material and with this double pressure you will find there is a pressure of the seam and sometimes the leakage of the seam takes place during the uh, sterilization process so outside moisture having certain uh, contaminants may also enter into the canes and that will the cause of the spoilage so the exhausting process exhausting process is very very important before the sterilization takes place dr kudia you mentioned that uh, one of the principle of canning is to improve the texture flavor and appearance by cooking can you give some more details example of this how does it improve the uh, texture as you know there is a standard process uh, some details are given jaise by some fruit and vegetables fruits are generally processed at boiling temperature because they can acidic in nature they have the ph 4.5 below 4.5 those are the vegetables we have the high ph above 4.5 so they are given <coughs> a high temperature uh, during the sterilization also so this temperature is very important if this sometimes the people slacked during the, even the proper timings of the or proper temperature so it is under process or over process over process also spoil the quality under process there are certain microorganisms contaminants there if they are not properly killed they remain in the cane product itself and when they get the opportune uh, conditions for their growth they multiply they reproduce and spoil the product so the standardization of the processing temperature and time time temperature relationship is very very important for the fruit and vegetable in the canned products also. Uh, can you tell something about uh, uh, this how do we determine the canning temperature time combination or it varies from fruit to fruit or it is some standard is there for all the products? There are some standards are there say D2, D12 is there, suppose a certain microorganism is there, then uh, they have taken a consumption of 10 rest to the power 12. Suppose these microorganisms are in a cane product and they give it certain time at a particular temperature and they denote after the completion they find out how much microorganisms remain there. Spore is a thousand microorganisms there and it remained only one microorganism. Then that temperature is considered, time is considered that is enough for the killing of this microorganisms. So if there is a thousand or a ten rest to 12, they will be killed during this processing time and temperature relationship and then only this time temperature relationship is considered as a standard for particular commodity product, product also. In our country how many plants 
or if we are having canning units or canning process? I think under the license of the FPO is given about 4000 units are there and most of them having this uh, canning unit also because is the canning is fresh there is a food and vegetable in slices or syrup otherwise you can pulp also juices beverages they are also being uh, processed in a in a canned as a canned product also. What is the cost component of uh, this? Uh, of course, the cane is expensive I think empty canes also cost about 10 to 15 rupees. So, it add to the value of the products and that is why it is not a common uh, feature for the consumer, but for the defense forces, for the export and other things the canes are essential item easy to handle, easy to process and easy to pack and to uh, market also these things. Dr. Krudia, can you give some more details about the, uh, the importance of the selection of fruits and vegetables? Why it is more important to select proper fruits and vegetables for the canning process? As I told you earlier also, the food and vegetables which are selected should be sound one, should not be uh, uh, bruised or like that, it should be properly matured and firm enough, so they can sustain the time and temperature receipt. If they are soft, they will uh, mess and they will not give the good quality products. So, the selection of the fruit and vegetables and its proper maturity ripening, so they will give it a good color, good taste, good flavor, otherwise the product will not be good for canned products. So, I think uh, now our friends must have learned detail in detail about the canning process that it is an important process of preserving the fruits and vegetables by application of heat and it has a number of unit operations and it was started by the Nicholas Apart and that this could be a now a septic canning process is taking place and the new products which you are finding in the market are based on the aseptic processing. So, we thank to the viewers for listening to the our topic canning on fruits and vegetables and in the series only our now production of value added products will be adding more lectures on the fruits and vegetable process. Thank you.